Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our exploration of the 41st millennia. Time for the next uh, boss fight. Eager the Benevolent. I don't think that he's actually benevolent. I think this is pretty much a lie. Chaos uh, tends to do that. And we need to subdue and uh, kill him. As a reward there might be a super good stone bolter and some level 2 gear which we're likely not going to take but the more important thing is we're getting requisition out of it and reducing corruption got the prime team here i went through the equipment at the end of the last episode so we're not going to repeat that instead i invite you to uh, sit back and uh, enjoy what is going to happen and what's going to happen is we're going to uh, see a big fat fight let's go Look at that, they even took the time to do some loading screens, which I really appreciate. Even if it is just in-game footage, those little extras go along well, with it. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Pilgrims on a holy journey to receive their benedictions. Come now, bow before your rightful king. And I will bestow you all with such wonderful gifts. Commander, be warned. The demon's vile spawn already infest this planet. Hmm. Such an ungrateful tone wins its way from above. This one I sense despises my loyal flock. Unfairly. It can bring to bear hordes of those vile nerdlings. You must be wary. If you will not accept what I offer, then I must regretfully request you depart my realm. No? A pity, but you will make a fine sub for my nephews. They are always ever so hungry. All right, well, listen. Strength of the spirit, 50% nice little crit. Did they just walk whilst we were casting Strength of the Spirit? All right, let's get some info here. 150 hit points. Eager consumes Nurgling and sets a blast area in range 14. Creates vulnerability. Uh, and Eager can consume Nurglings and heals the amount of hit points. Immunity to afflictions. Nullify, bleed incapacitated, crazed, dominated, blinded, plagued, banished. Okay. But I think weakened is still fine. Cannot be stunned. Eager commands nephews to attack his enemies. They deal damage based on the number of Nurglings nearby. Eager summons five Nurglings at the start of his turn. Defend the uncle. When shot uh, with a ranged attack, if Nurglings are nearby, Anger can consume Nurglings to cancel the attack. All right, so we need to disrupt him. Hager consumes Nurglings and summons a number of Plague Bearers. And Plague Flail, spread attack. Uh, strike adjacent target, deals 7 damage, inflicts weakened, and superior knockback, which I think will just uh, mean it's not good. Immobilized. Less. Uh, yeah. What are his psychic attacks, by the way? Here. And I consume Snurglings and some Lake Bearers. Okay. Click Weakened, less damage, disables. The target cannot use Come Home, my Nurglings. 
come home. My nephew, sorry. Okay, can't heal. Okay, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Well. Moves to here. Then continues with warp charging everybody over there. Do you like my Come, stay a while. It will imbue you with a blessed power. Yeah, we're not going to stay a while. Are just cleansed, which is good. Good hit, like what I'm seeing. Fantastic. Uh, before we do anything, you definitely need to, your autos need to end. Okay, oh, that's good. My Secondly, I'd like you to be weakened, or vulnerable rather. Fantastic. Thirdly, warp speed needs to happen. And he cannot be stunned, so the iron arm thing is irrelevant. What is your will? A worthy blow, brother. See how the bloated pig struggles. Hail. Good. Um, you guys deal with Halo Skulls. Just in case, we need to fight them. What is this here, by the way? Oh, that's where he summons the Nurglings from. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Fire will teach you a lesson. Such efforts are futile. Repent this foolishness and accept my benevolence. Well, at the moment, we're accepting nothing. What I'm accepting is that you will need to die. Wow. Uh, okay, so we're looking at like what, 21 points of damage per hit? Okay, nice. Twenty four damage. Dreary and ungrateful guests. We should all be celebrating the blooms in pending morbus. Another twenty four. I haven't even shifted actions into him yet. Oh, 
The Reaper is purged. Our duty fulfilled. Meddling infestation dangerous. Okay. recommended for absolute certainty. It is done, Dominus. Be at peace. Those foul spawn will not survive long without their broodmaster. Oh, wow. Well. Yes, truly. We must recover the Prime Seed and pursue the others. Denial. Risk of infestation remains. If I must, I will venture below personally and purge the immediate area before we return anything to the ship. Wow. That was a 10 minute gig and this guy did not have a good time. His fat belly was dragged over the uh, surface so intensely. That was a curb stone. 24 points of damage in a single hit, every hit. Wow. Alright, what are we looking at? I would love to get Medic High School uh, number 3. And this is good, I like Medic High Schools, but I don't want to settle for le uh, level 2. Terminator armor, immune to knockback. Good. Then we got strife, um, strife breaker, which is a staff. Okay. Damage, damage. This knight has Aegis shield and it's got three max willpower. And we finally got this. That looks good. That looks like a seven damage bolger. And it has crit damage on top of it. Hello. Very good bolter. I like what I'm seeing. Very good, yeah, well, I was waiting for experience, but then I sort of realized that it's a stupid concept if you're maximum level. Another strain is halted, and we now possess a second prime seed. I admit this path has succeeded. Yet these rituals are clearly taking a toll on you. Update. I have performed a biodiagnostic on the Inquisitor. She remains within acceptable thresholds. For now. I am not some lab specimen. My exposure is a small price to defeat this enemy. Let us keep focused on the immediate threat. Agreed. Consensus. The Omnissiah rewards our aggression. I... I am ready. Ooh. Good, I think we could research something, but the problem is we don't have the seeds here, so we need to collect those. Can I help you, Command? All demons, all I yes, let us enough for now. The bloom festers. Seven days, and then gun battery is there. Okay, cool. The halo. This will be at the task. Is of course they will fight as you wish. I am extreme. I envy our brothers their place on the battle. The edicts in which on the spec we have thrown new boxes that is satisfied. I proceed. Can I help you, Commander? I see why. All right. Yeah, we have a research menu, but we can't really research anything. Insufficient resources. Yeah, but we've perched the planet. That one is good. We got a five, five, uh, mm, fiber planet there. Four. 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 Lots of red stuff over there, which I think we should actually go there. Uh, 
I would love to take care of some of that. All right, sorry, needed to take a short break. So I got a lot of uh, planets back here. We're either going over there or we're protecting this up here. In particular, this planet. I think it's the only one that can theoretically open a warp gate. And to be fair, if we're waiting here, that's not bad either. That gives us a lot of access. This here is a quick route. All right. Let's go and wait for the next bloom to happen. Nice, we got gun batteries plus one. That's level three now, right? Yes, let's get level four. I hear good news, Commander. Another cool. We got high support, whatever that means. And not so cool. We got bloom spawns directly afterwards. Uh, got some stuff happening here. Blue spawns. Can go there relatively quickly. Another blue spawn there. And can we reach this? Yes, we can. I'm sure we can from here to here as well. Good, we got purple here, we got blue here. That's oh, relatively straightforward. Oh, this looks like an easy mission. Good, very good. So, let's check. All right, we can reach that, fantastic. Might even be, ah, we won't be able to reach all three, but we will be able to reach two, which is fabulous. Uh, let me prepare the team here real quick. All right, so we got the Stun Brothers combination yet again. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. In particular, I think we are going to go with Gate of Infinity. Uh, we are going to take some healing. Where power isn't that important. Tides of Shadow and High Sanctuary are fine. That well, seems like a good idea. I could theoretically go for crit. If I wanted to, you know what, uh, might as well do that. Now, no, 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 we're going to take stun, of course. My bad. Very good. So that's going to be our setup. And I've given these guys kind of secondary equipment that our main team is not having. That way I don't need to always reassign equipment won't really make a lot of uh, difference because uh, they were already quite different in what type of equipment they were using but nonetheless um, a little bit of a downgrade and that's fair i think because uh, this team appears to be quite overpowered uh, let's uh, see how well we're doing we want to get kills on everybody but the uh, paladin Target seed location identified. However, thermal readings register below safety protocols. We are no wolves of Fenris, but such factors will not deter us. Elimination of these seeds is paramount. All right, blue, blue. Blue, fantastic. Triple blue. That's great because we do not have a lot of a lot of blue seats overall. None may hide from our website. Today we shall be tested. Are you kidding me? Alright, that's a bit of a problem. 
We already need to draw our first gate of infinity. Okay, this rough and this here should push the guy forward, if not completely off the map. Very nice. Now, we still have a problem here because these guys aren't exactly easy to get killed. Let's start with a brain mine. Very nice. Down to like what four? Okay. My blade is ever ready. Can't hit both with a shriek. Praise the Emperor. I am his will. Good. Almost got this guy down. And in both of the cases, we almost got them down. Are they immune to ranged attacks? No. Teleportation just has uh, gotten us to a strange place. Good, decent attack. Yeah, this time it works. Strange, eh? The enemy is wounded. What is your will? Punch! Right, one. Blessed are our arms. And two. Good, and now this here is going to be next to you. We slay the darkness, oh, come on. And this is another execute. Alright, so Litany of Hate. Enable. My blade is yours. Good, we're moving up. This first encounter was relatively speaking mundane, but we need to draw one gate of gate of uh, infinity Try this again. This time, hopefully, a little bit uh, easier. Filth unwanted. <laughs> Run directly engage, into us. Fantastic.
Give me these sweet, sweet blue seeds that I am lunging for. Another foul seed claimed. We cannot be stunned, right? No, we cannot. Very good. So that's one. Four, seven, four, four. Perfect option this time for Psychic Shriek. Lovely. You have been judged. You indeed have been judged. Love that stun bolter. Cancel. Stun. Into everybody gets a willpower back. What is your will? Cannot be stunned. Okay, cool. Well, what I can tell will? you what it can be. Kill. My blade is ever ready. Blue seat. I am with you. Your orders? Punch! One and two. There's another team right behind the door. Yeah. Door opens and we got a couple of greens. Good enemies for the type of combat that we're running. of justice we aren't hit the swords of justice so we're not taking shit from anyone here specifically not from you guys interrupt seat I imagine kind of um, extracting this a gene, uh, gene seat from I'm them here to serve. push these guys together Now. 
Bonus hin. Chaplin moves in. Hits. And hits them very well. Into more stun. I don't know why this guy unstunned himself. It's a bit weird. Indeed, a little bit weird. My blade is yours. Stunning. Your command. to two the emperor lights our path hit and kill it is finished Good. This will give everybody more power back. Good, I'm just double checking that we haven't lost or forgotten any seats because one thing that is important is collecting all of those sweet, sweet seats. If I haven't learned anything else from this game so far but that one thing, then it is collect seats. Because we're currently short, quite short on seats. Oh, 
Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah, the big boys. I bring death and decay. That's got the commander. I recommend you fortify until you can be extracted. We have some unpleasant company. Alright, yeah, even if we have some unpleasant company, so what? We are the Grey Knights. There is no such I thing as from this rot. just moving away. Yes, Commander. I am here to serve. Unleash me. Praise the Emperor. Unleash me. Uh, get that big guy first, I suppose. Fantastic stun like that and execute. More stun. get close to here the good old void rifts And we've pretty easily killed all of these guys. Oh, 
Not sure if we do have another... Another teleportation. Do we have one? No, we don't. But what we do have is three stun for everyone. It's a good start. Standing ready. The orders. Why don't we stun more? Ah, okay, I know why. Not having the right character. My bad. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That mine. Yeah. Good. That guy immediately dies. <laughs> Funny. Stunned. Feel my rattle service. Even if we need to move to them, we're getting so much back. It's crazy. The biggest enemies you can just move up and they're gone. End of turn. Yeah, enemies gain one reinforcement. Oh wow. Beginning teleportation. <laughs> I could imagine like the strongest team might be a combination of what I'm doing plus actual intercept the melee DPS. Because this is arguably a pretty gnarly combo. It's 
specifically with the two will points back for every uh, two action points uh, back to everyone the litany that's crazy hmm. it's sorry it's not for everyone it is just for one person but it's still crazy 13 blue seeds 50% resistance oh yeah thank you that is good then we got Odin's Edict. 40% uh, melee crit, 6 damage. And that thing has. Oh. So this here is just auto critter. Wow. Wow. Think about it, uh, that's like 40%, it's 45%. Oh, that's a good weapon. And this here gives the Psy Bolt pinned. And afflict the target loses one AP next turn. And it is very good against demons. Plus it does have, it, it comes, it comes with um, like what, five basis points of damage. Cybolt uh, uh, takes away AP and gives extra damage. That's good armor. Willpower, armor, does not increase warp surge. Yeah, if this would be level 3, I would take it. But I think we are already, we should be already quite happy with the loot that we've received. Purifier needs to get a couple more kills. The rest here is well on their way. When he crits, he takes a, uh, he has a chance to regain uh, an AP, which is good. And I mean, we could get 25% focus, which puts this year to 75% and 75%. It's not too bad. But we... Yeah, what... Listen, we might as well upgrade the litanies here. Or we're taking extra armor, which I think we could do just for more tankiness. Librarian. We want it to go to uh, right up here. Activate to reduce current warp by 25%. Let's do another minus 50. And then we're just skilling these two and it's a fine build. Clearly works well. Clearly works well. Um, where is our just a car? 
Here we go. We got blue stuff. Hmm. Not even sure if we have so many blue items. I don't even know what, what does high support mean? I don't even know what does high support mean exactly. Plus one requisition. Okay, that is what high support means. All right, we're flying over. Hopefully getting some more seeds. And of course, things are never as easy as they should be. Reports suggest they are converging on the armory. Unleash me, Commander. I will teach these traitors. Analysis. Enemy ship may be minimally defended. A counter offensive is advisable. I can reach the armory. Send Ektar and your knights to attack the enemy ship. Uh, we're protecting our armory. I will show no mercy. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Okay, well that was easy. Here we got another servo school that could be the healing school level 3 that we've been waiting for. Lots of servitors as well and in terms of ship status. We're looking at uh, getting the highest level gun battery. Afterwards I want to restore our hull to max. And in terms of research I could do this research, but then we're almost out of the blue seats, and I don't like that idea. On the other hand, these other seats seem to continue and further grow. Maybe it is because we have that prime seat here. What I can tell you is good old, um, good old green Toxicus, Paxus. Uh, the guy was no match for us at all. Um, I would wait. Let's say if we hit 20 on uh, any of the seats, then, then we're fine. And for now, we're done anyways. Uh, next time, we're going to do a Seek and Destroy Bloom Spawn mission. And I will think about, I definitely want to have that stun team work once more, but I'll also think about uh, just maybe doing a couple of missions off screen again, because really what we're now doing is we're farming seeds. And I think I've showcased all of the three different distinct teams uh, that I do have, that I do have available. Uh, there might be more teams to be uh, fair, but really, if you think about the core of what uh, constitutes for a team, one concept seems to be just have one interceptor that is super, super strong. That seemed to have worked well. Another concept is free actions, as in support fire. We've used that. Another concept is just um, uh, kill enemies with stun and use the stun mechanic. There is theoretically another concept that I could explore, which is really the damage over time uh, team. So say a purifier that is completely specced into, um, into any form of fire uh, damage. Then on top of it, an apothecary that is putting bleed damage out uh, there. Uh, I think we had a few um, other forms of, um, of damage I think it was burning and bleeding as the main sources of quasi-indirect damage over time. And then the idea would be combine that with Hobbled maybe? 
or silenced so that they can't really use oh yeah oh well hmm. by thinking about it you can could combine it with uh, grenades uh, that uh, that do have smoke uh, grenades so you're basically unloading all of that then you place a smoke grenade there and so they can't really range uh, attack the problem with that is not only so hmm. or or you're combining that with a tank front line with like ultra tanky tanks uh, like a paladin uh, with a shield that is just standing in the front line um, and is knocking enemies back i think that could work uh, we do have three more spaces available so technically i could see if i can build up su uh, such a team um, in order to do it it would be bleeding and burning kind of damage over time uh, and and then yeah armor penetration is almost like cheating in uh in 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 that uh, case because armor penetration would be direct damage so it would be this here the cleansing fire uh, which gives burning then it would be the uh, bleeding from the apothecary again same deal up here scoring uh, we could combine that with hobbled so that they suffer movement speed and you can even uh, warp charge it to immobilize them completely which means all of the melees are effed. Then you can put something like the paladin up there and uh, basically have uh, basically tank, uh, tank them or Halo Skulls. You could run a lot of uh, Halo Skulls. Defend position could be uh, something and this massive smite could uh, could work this here is mainly knockback and a little bit damage so i could see that but yeah fire plus bleeding do we have anything else like it there's bleed here fire um their poison I'm not trying to artificially come up with uh, something but uh, I just like theory crafting over those uh, those uh, things so we would have bleeding we would have burning we would have a way of uh, making them stand there so it's really apothecary plus uh, purifier and then potentially knockback from the paladin and the question is what Sorry. else could we do um over here there's direct damage aoe direct damage um this here would help us to uh to have enough armor stun we've already used that's pure blasting in terms of grenades this here would be massive bleed this here would be massive bleed seven bleed that's nasty Silence could be another condition. The one thing that we haven't figured out is how to uh, how to work against um, against ranged attacks. But if we force them to stay where they are, and if we disable uh, them and make them heavily bleed plus um, burn them, then that could be a fun little way. Um, of playing the game as well yeah that could be 
could be a fun little uh, way. Question is, uh, it will by far be the worst uh, build that that we do have. So the question is, does any of the other classes have anything that would that would work together with that? Might even play a melee uh, purgator, uh, purifier, sorry, and then have the flames cleanse them. Yeah, apothecary. Yeah, well, the chaplain could be the last uh, last guy in it. The uh, question is, what would we use as a kind of exotic option here? Resistance ourselves. More Aegis could be helpful for the tanks. Enemies could be enraged. That, and huh, that actually, yeah, that could be... Not too bad. Um, the enemies... Uh, that's not provoking, but uh, can we make them crazed? As in, attack each other. Ranged weapon. Hmm. Yeah, this might be, I, I, I might be onto uh, something if we uh, can make them crazed or just use uh, the Hela skulls. Hela skulls with the Apothecary would work very well because the Apothecary does have that extra uh, skulls thing and can also heal. Then we would have, uh, then we would have um, bleeding and burning. Uh, a tank line in the front and hmm mind control would be cool just letting them shoot uh, each other but I don't think that we really have that uh, that ability we don't really have that ability we do we still do have blind as an option just to make uh, range combat a little bit less attractive for them and we do have silenced which is okay and we could put vulnerable on uh, on them i guess and maybe kind of a really long um long uh overwatch or just add grenades into the uh, into the mix having a well we already have a um purify uh, uh, purifier purifier apothecary uh, and paladin would be um, so far the ones i mean you can always put a chaplain in there or a librarian just to get uh, to get to the right position um i suppose that would be an option but yeah let me think about it uh, if i could craft theory craft another quote unquote fun team so that we can uh, enjoy a few builds that we haven't seen so far. It seems to me that we have seen quite a few uh, builds at this point, and the only thing that I could uh, think of is is a damage over time team. With what I've been given, I think I've already found most of the uh, efficient builds. Uh, I would be surprised to hear that I've like missed something incredibly uh, out of the box. Anyways, if you liked today's episode, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.